Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and welcome to the touchscreen face off. Let me start with a simple truth complexity is the enemy of security. So if your crypto hardware wallet feels clunky, confusing, or difficult to navigate, the odds of you making a costly mistake go way up. That's why touchscreens are such a game changer in the world of crypto hardware wallets. With a touchscreen, everything is more intuitive from entering your PIN to signing a transaction. All of the details of the transaction are presented to you on the screen of the device. This means fewer button combinations to memorize, fewer chances of clicking the wrong thing, and more confidence that your cryptocurrency is safe. Today, I'm putting the top touchscreen cryptocurrency hardware wallets head to head. The OneKey Pro, the Trezor Safe 5, the Ledger Flex and the Ledger Stacks. I'll compare screen sizes, materials, security features, additional functionality like wireless charging and backups, and how well each works with DeFi and third-party wallets. By the end, you'll see why I believe the future of secure self-custody is touch first. So let's look at our contenders here. Uh, we've got the One Key Pro here coming in at $278. The Trezor Safe 5 is the most affordable of these touchscreen models, coming in at $169. Uh, the Ledger Flex is $249, so it's a little bit less than the One Key Pro. Um, and then we also have the Ledger Stacks coming in at $400. It's the most expensive touchscreen in our face-off. It is Ledger's top-of-the-line model. Um, it does include the Ledger Recovery Key and the Magnet Shell Case. So you get that along with the, when you make a purchase of the device. Uh, the Ledger Flex also includes the Ledger Recovery Key. Now, uh, One Key Pro has the uh, one key light backup key. It's not that expensive, but it is not included in the price of the one key pro. Uh, you have to buy it separately. Uh, Trezor does not have uh, a card backup. Uh, you have to use the traditional backup methods, but you can get a, an onboarding session. The Trezor Safe 5 has Gorilla Glass, so it's more durable and it also has haptic feedback. Uh, the One Key Pro also has haptic feedback. To start off, let's just compare them physically in their powered down state. So if you're not familiar with these models, we've got the One Key Pro, uh, the Trezor Safe 5, the Ledger Flex, and the Ledger Stacks. You can see that in the powered down state, the lock screen on the Ledger Flex and the Ledger Stacks still shows up. This is because of the organic e-ink display. It can set the screen, uh, and once it's set, it doesn't change, even when it's powered down. So that's a pretty cool thing. You can put pictures from your computer, or you can display NFTs on here. Also notice that the Stacks has this wraparound screen, and that you can see the name of the device on the side. Uh, this is cool that it has an internal labeling mechanism. You'll also note later that when we've got the device powered up, that it's got some status indicators on the side as well. Uh, let's go ahead and power up the One Key Pro. Um, it does. It has a battery. Right. You can see that it has a beautiful lock screen here. Right. And you can customize this lock screen as well. Um, when we plug in the Trezor Safe 5. Uh, you'll note it also has a, a color touch screen, and this is what it looks like in its resting state. You can also customize the home screen on this one. Actually, I'll go ahead and turn this one on too. All right, and uh, this is the home screen, and you can see that uh, when it's in its um, powered on state that you've got the battery indicator and whether or not it's locked. Another thing I like about the One Key Pro is that when you are uh, dealing with different cryptocurrencies, like for example Bitcoin, notice that it uses the uh, traditional Bitcoin logo colors. Uh, the same with Ethereum. You've got that Ethereum tone, and then with Solana, you've got the purple, 
and with Tron you've got the red so um, it really uh, is nice that you are very aware by the colors to which crypto you're dealing with i this is the most colorful of all the wallets um, as you may know the e-ink display is black and white only uh, but it is um, battery friendly it's very low power um, so it can go on a battery charge for quite some time the color screen on the one key pro um, uses a lot more battery power so it powers down a little quicker right uh, and the treasure say five does not run at all on battery power it can only work when it's plugged in all right so uh, let's take them head to head now uh, we've got the one key pro uh, with the full color touchscreen that has haptic feedback I forgot to list that here but it does have haptic feedback uh, at a three it's a 3.5 inch IPS display uh, 480 by 800 pixel the the Trezor say 5 is the smallest screen of the four it's got a 1.54 inch color display 240 by 240 pixels it, it has haptic feedback and Gorilla Glass so it is pretty durable as well the Ledger Flex is uh, 2.84 inches. Uh, it's a 16, 16 grayscale e-ink touchscreen. And as I mentioned earlier, it's battery friendly, right? Um, they, they go for days on one battery charge. And the largest screen is on the Ledger Stacks, the top of the line. A 3.7 inch uh, grayscale e-ink curved display. You can look at those stats on the side of the device. Let's look at some of the features of the screen. You've got a customizable home screen on the One Key Pro, and you can also display NFTs on the One Key Pro. Uh, you do have a customizable home screen on the Trezor Say 5, uh, but it's just a choice of images. You can't upload anything from your computer, and you can't display NFTs. So um, the Ledger Flex has the lock screen art and it can also display NFTs. And then uh, the Ledger Stacks has the screen lock art, NFT display, and the edge display with statistics. All right, let's look at the uh, security features of these wallets and see how they stack up. Uh, the One Key Pro has four EAL secure element chips. And it also has a fingerprint reader, which I'm counting as an additional security feature. But of course, it has a pin, too. Uh, you can't really disable the pin. A lot of people ask me about things like that, and they say, what if I lose my finger in an accident? Will I lose my crypto? No. Uh, the fingerprint reader is uh, basically uh, a convenience factor. It's an optional feature. You don't have to use it. Um, and if you have it enabled and it won't read your fingerprint or you don't want to use it, you can always use your PIN. You can fall back on the PIN. The Trezor Say 5 has a secure element, which is EAL6+. So you can see that all of these devices employ secure element chips, and all of them are EAL6 Plus certified. Um, the Ledger Flex and the Ledger Stacks also have a secure screen. Uh, there, I'll put a link into the blog about the secure screen. This means that the screen is run directly from the secure element chip. It doesn't use a coprocessor uh, to drive the screen. So this means that you can trust the screen output uh, to, to be exactly what's going on within the secure element chip. I poked around on the uh, websites of these two could not find anything explaining uh, directly how their screen was driven. Uh, but I am aware that a lot of other crypto hardware wallets do use a coprocessor to drive their screen, and it doesn't come directly from the secure element chip. If anyone's aware of whether these two have secure screen technology, let me know. I couldn't find anything on their websites. All right, now let's look at the interfaces of these devices. With the One Key Pro, you can use a USB-C uh, with your computer. You can connect it to your computer with a USB cable. Um, it also works with Bluetooth with your phone, and it also has air gap functionality. For those of you who want to use um, air gap 
uh, it does have that functionality and it does work with its native software the one key pro app so uh, that's a nice little feature the Trezor Say 5 only works with USB-C. It doesn't have battery power. It doesn't have Bluetooth. It doesn't have NFC, anything like that. It, and it only works with a computer. Um, I think I'll, I'm going to get to that in a minute. But the, the interface here is only with a USB-C cable. Uh, the Ledger Flex uh, works with USB-C, Bluetooth, and also NFC. Uh, the NFC is nice. Um, you can do things with... Uh, the NFC like using the ledger recovery key and you can also use these devices as uh, hardware pass keys with your phone as well uh, using that NFC functionality so ledger flex and ledger stacks both uh, have NFC functionality which uh, gives it some advanced features um, and now uh, what does it work with the one key pro works with desktop and phone uh, the Trezor Say 5 only works with desktop. Um, it has a phone app that you can use. Uh, you can export your wallet information to your phone. You cannot interact, manage, or sign transactions using the phone, right? Uh, the app only exports your public data so that maybe you want to check your portfolio when you're on the go. You can do that, uh, but you can't uh, really manage your crypto with the phone, only on the desktop. Um, and of course, uh, Ledger Flex and Ledger Stacks work with desktop and phone. So I wanted to go over how you can charge these devices. Of course, all four devices can be charged with a USB cable, either plugged into your computer or a charging brick, whichever you prefer. The One Key Pro and the Ledger Stacks both support wireless QI charging, which is pretty cool. Neither product comes with a QI charger, but if you already have an iPhone and you're using a QI compatible charging unit, you can use that to charge these devices. And it's pretty cool being able to wirelessly charge these products. All right, now let's talk about some additional functionality that these devices have. The One Key Pro has a camera for scanning QR codes and also a flashlight if you're having trouble reading the QR code. Um, it does have that uh, backup card that I mentioned, the one key light for doing digital backups. Um, but it does it's not included with the device. You have to buy it separately. The Trezor Say 5 has a one-on-one -on -one video onboarding session that you can purchase separately. It's not included with your device purchase, but you can purchase that separately. Uh, the Ledger recovery key is included with the Ledger Flex. And as I mentioned earlier, the Ledger recovery key and the shell case is included in the price of the, the Ledger stacks. Also, I didn't put it on the chart, but I should point out that the uh, one key has the onboarding session as well uh, that you can purchase separately um, to help you get the wallet set up. So uh, both the uh, Trezor Say 5 and the one key pro have the onboarding session available. All right, let's talk about compatibility. Uh, the One Key Pro um, doesn't have as much support as uh, its brothers and sisters, uh, but it is up and coming. Um, it it is uh, it does have native support for MetaMask, OKX, the Rabi Wallet, the Electrum Wallet, uh, Wasabi, and Bitcoin Core, um, which is of interest to some uh, Bitcoin purists. The Trezors have been around for quite a while, so they have compatibility with a lot of other um, third-party wallets as well. MetaMask, Rabi, Backpack, Electrum, the Monero, GUI. But the Ledger models really shine when it comes to compatibility. Ledger has always had a devotion to developers. They have dev tools that they make available to developers, and they're always improving them. I've found in my years of use that the Ledger devices are the most powerful and flexible when it comes to third-party wallets. So uh, supports popular wallets like MetaMask, SoulFlare, Slush Wallet for SUI, uh, Z Classic My Crypto, Monero GUI, the Phantom Wallet, the Kepler Wallet, and many more. Of all of these wallets, it's the Ledger devices that have the most third-party support. So if you're looking for a versatile wallet, one that's powerful and flexible and has a lot of third-party support, 
uh, the ledgers shine in that area. Okay, and then I should also mention that each one of these wallets has their own uh, native software uh, for managing the device. And within these apps, you can buy, sell, swap, stake uh, various cryptocurrencies. Keep in mind that a lot of these uh, apps use third-party payment processors. So you're not really buying it directly on your wallet or buying it directly from Ledger or Trezor or OneKey. Um, you're using third-party payment processors. So now that I've broken down all the stats on these models, I'm going to give you my verdict. Um, I don't want you to just run out and buy a wallet because I tell you to buy the wallet or I recommend the wallet. So I want to try to be as objective as possible. A lot of people want to know what my opinion is. So uh, for the best all-arounder touchscreen, I'm going to go with the Ledger Flex. Um, it has a great price point at $249. It's less than the Ledger Stacks and the OneKey Pro. Um, and it's got a lot of versatility. As I mentioned, it's got a lot of third-party functionality. It has NFC functionality and includes that Ledger Recovery Key. Um, and uh, you don't have to pay for the price of the Stacks to get that. Um, as, as we saw earlier, the screen is a little bit smaller than the Ledger Stacks, and it's not a wraparound screen. Uh, for the premium experience, I'm going to go with the Ledger Stacks. It is kind of a vanity play. It does have the biggest screen of the group. And for someone like me uh, with fat fingers and uh, not so great eyes, uh, I really appreciate the extra real estate on the screen for all of the activities like pin entry and uh, transaction signing. But as I mentioned, it is a vanity play. It's about $399. So um, you may disagree with me on that. For the security maximalist and the air-gapped fan, I'm going to recommend the OneKey Pro. Um, I also really love this screen. Um, it is beautiful to work with. Um, it's not as big as the Ledger Stacks, um, and it does eat up a little more battery power. A lot of you may be like me and just use it at home when it's connected to a cable. So uh, the battery power doesn't really uh, come into play with my use case here at home. But for those of you who want to use it on the go, you, uh, the battery, uh, the, the fact that it uh, requires a little more battery power may be an issue. But uh, overall, uh, security and beautiful screen, uh, I really like the OneKey Pro. So for open source purist and micro SD workflow, uh, the Trezor Safe 5 is a great choice and it also is the lowest price point. Um, as we saw in the comparison, it does lack some of the advanced features, but um, it comes in at a great price point. Uh, keep in mind that the Trezor Safe 5 does employ a secure element chip that runs proprietary code. This is to ensure uh, that it is tamper proof and can uh, cryptographically verify that it is a genuine device and has not been tampered with. All four of the uh, touchscreen devices that we reviewed today also employ secure element chips that run proprietary code. It's just a feature of modern cryptocurrency wallets. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you disagreed with any of my verdicts, uh, put it up in the comments. Tell me what your favorite cryptocurrency uh, touchscreen wallet is. And if you have any questions about anything I said, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered.